Why is a licky licky ya one gagat? Respect is important. But the sad thing is, there's so little respect left in the world that if you look up the word behind me in the dictionary, you'll find it's been taken out. So if this show teach you anything, it should teach you how to respect everyone. Animals, children, bitches, spasmos, mingas, lezers, fatty boombas, and even gay lords. So, to all you lot watching this, but mainly to the normal people, respect, West Side. No diggity, check this out, I is with none other than my main man, Sam Donaldson, him be the boss man of ABC News, and today we is chatting about the media. Let's talk about when the media actually changed events in politics. Does you remember when the two journalists brought down the government over the scandal of Waterworld? Well, Watergate here. Well, I yeah. think it's Waterworld, and it you're confusing it with Stargate. Well, are you talking about when we had a president named Nixon? For real. And there was a burglary at a complex called Watergate. There ain't no connection between this and the bloke from Dancers with Wolves. No, that's where I thought you were going. Waterworld oh, was a very bad movie yo. in my estimation. Yo, 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 no doubt. Why don't they make that clearer to young people? That's what we're doing. Yo. That's what you're doing. Respect. Congratulations. What is bias? We all have biases, meaning we have an idea of the way things are without reference to what we actually can see. So how does you stop journalists putting little words in that is hints of how them actually feel? Like say, yo, today President Bush, who is a dong, talked about the economy. Would they be allowed to say that? Well, you could say that, but if I were your boss, I'd fire you. But how does you stop the journalists giving over their opinions just by their body language? saying, yo, today, President Bush, and then go, spoke to the vice president, you know. If you and did then, that, I'd fire you. I go, it couldn't stop you, but I'd fire you and you wouldn't be on the next day going, oh, 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 oh. no. So has a journalist ever been fired for being biased and doing things like that? I don't know of an of American journalist who's done things like that. So what does you do when there ain't nothing that's happened in the news that day? There's always something that happened. But if it's a bit of a boring day for news, does you sometimes make a headline on the newspaper saying war begins? Well, if there's no war that begins, but you say war begins, right. no one's going to buy your newspaper the next day because they'll be on to the fact that you don't know what you're talking about. But you could always put on page two, war begins with a W. Well, that is how you spell it, isn't it? Yeah. For real, so you ain't lying. But people would, everyone would buy your paper because no one else is reporting on this. Yo, so let's get the one with all the war thing in it. Wicked. Oh, it begins with a W. I knew that, but let me read some other things. So, does people get their news now more from telly or from newspapers? Television in this country. Ain't the problem with newspapers that after about a week, the news is well out of date. Oh, they are. You buy a newspaper every day to find out what the latest news is. Well, you don't need to buy it every day. What do you mean you don't need to buy it? You don't need to do anything. For except real. pay taxes and die. 
Yo, wow, you don't always have to pay taxes. I know I, I but... Is that, this a confession right now? No, no, no. Should I call the law? No, 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 because I, <laughs> I don't because of... Uh, it's a complicated thing. I can't really chat right. about it, whatever. Right. Yo, so let's talk about... Call the law. <laughs> Go ahead. Yo, no, don't. Shit. <laughs> In the US and A, very rich people like to drink a wine. It is like a Kazaki wine, but not made from fermented horses urine. I go to meet a Mississippi gentleman to find more. Chekui. Hi, welcome to Jackson. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Welcome to Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. In tasting wines, there's three uh, three things that you watch and enjoy. One is the color of the wine. See how nice and, uh, the color of this is? And the next thing is the aroma. And you smell the product. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold it by the, the stem. Yeah, the proper way is right here. He, he's going to let you do this one. Yeah. Uh, well, here, okay. let, me, let, me, let me just do catch it like I did. No. Here. Yeah, you want you to taste it like that's the proper way to taste. Uh, yes. Yeah, grab the glass like that. Uh, Is it glass? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a cup. Okay. Yes. Uh, just grab, grab that and. Uh, it is? No, mm, the no. glass. The, the, take here, the, the glass. cup. Take the cup. No, no, no. Take the cup. Here. Yeah. yeah. You take it. You take, take the cup. You here. take what? it. You want? No. You, here. There you go. Now. Yes. That's okay. You take that's it. it. You hold it. Ah. You. You hold it. Yeah, they hold it. You okay, hold it. Yeah. Okay. Now. Don't hold it up here. It makes it hot. Okay. Yeah. The you proper way it. is like this. If you see his fingers. Yeah. Like this. You want to taste? No, you're okay. gonna taste that one. I'm gonna taste this one. You want me to take this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's grab it like this. Here we are. No, I'm not gonna hold it. You yes. Yeah. <laughs> here, taste it. This one. This one. This one. Yes. Mm -hmm. He has a cold. You may catch his cold. No, no, no. You're... No, no, no. You, you, yes. you, you drink. You. Okay, yours. Come yes. on. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I win. What is this? This is a Zinfandel. Ah, right, 2002. That's when the... it was made. That's when it was yes, made. Yes, it's the year my wife died. Oh, it did. 2002. Yeah. Yeah. Nice wine. Yeah. I like. Yeah. yeah. You like? Cheers. Is in a Kazakhstan sometime. <laughs> Ooh. Ain't that nice? <laughs> nice! <laughs> Pour me a little in this one right here. Notice how he pours it, how gently he's pouring the wine. Yes. It, it, that, it, 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 it helps the wine to gently pour it. Thank and you very much. Right. Thank you, Robert. Thank, Thank you, you very yeah. much, Robert. Okay. He is your slave? No, 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 not a I, slave. He is his slave? No, 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 he's not a slave at all. We don't have slaves here anymore. Oh, you, yes, I hear you do not have a No, 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 no. Oh, why, you stop? No, well, it's, it's it was a law that was passed that uh, they no longer can be used as slaves, is which a is a good thing. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah, it is a good thing for them. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but not so much for you. You're right. right. You would like Sweet. very much my sister. She is a beauty queen of Almaty. You want to see a picture? Yes. You want to see a picture? Yes. <laughs> 
Oh my you God. will like her very much. You want to move to the USA? <laughs> How about that? Wow, wait. She yeah. will want to very much. You. She will like you very much. She is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. How about she that? She is nice. Beautiful young lady. Oh, That's yeah. not your... That yeah, we make a joke. We pretend to be husband and wife. We pretend to be husband. Oh my God! She is crazy fun. She like <laughs> you'd Can like you to meet. Huh? I think he would. Yes. <laughs> you are my best friend. Well, do we you like me. Yes, we do, and we hope we're your friends. I like Absolutely. you. I like you. I like yeah. My mother, she never loved me. Really? <laughs> she never loved me. I bet she did. Oh, you just didn't. No. It showed she, it in no, a different no, way. No. She tell me sometimes she wished she was a rape by someone else. No okay. That I was never born. Oh, she probably. You must say, give me a hug. She <laughs> never hugged me. Uh -oh. <laughs> she never hugged me. Oh, she didn't. She never hugged me. You will hug me. I love you. Hold me. T Hold me tight. Hold me tight. You're an all right guy. Hold me tight. You're right on. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Very good. See you. Very you good. Smell so good. Good. You smell so good. Oh, really? Why you smell? Oh, it's my skin. I've got some real delicate skin. It smells like that. <laughs> yeah. It's been we look, an honor to meet you. We look forward to seeing you again. My mic sounds nice, check one. Check it out, AZ with none other than my main man, Daryl Gates. He was the chief of Los Angeles police. What was it like being the head of the NYPD? Not NY, LAPD. Well, you say tomato, I say potato. I think that's a language <laughs> thing, isn't it? Yeah, LA, Los Angeles Police Department. NYPD is New York Police Department. Is it true in LA there's loads of celebrities? Oh yes, celebrities. Yes, that, lots of celebrities. Was there any famous people that your police had to arrest? I'm sure you saw the O.J. Simpson. Oh, and oh, he's, for he's, he's oh the, I've seen him on the telly. Yeah, and he, he was the one that was uh, accused of killing his wife. But ain't it wrong for the police to start getting involved in murders on a cartoon? Surely what the Simpsons do Oh, no. It's just like, uh, it's, it's make-believe, you know. Oh, you're, you're talking about different Simpsons. I'm talking about a, a man, a real man, who was... He killed March. Yeah, no, a, a real man. He's called O.J. Simpson. Yo. So is drugs a real problem? Drugs in the United States is, have been a problem for many, many years. Has you ever heard of people swallowing Connie's full of drugs. Oh, sure, sure. How long does it take for the Connie usually to come out the other end? Well, uh, depends on how long it takes you. Would you be concerned if it hadn't come out eight and a half days after the geese had swallowed it? If it didn't come out within uh, 48 hours, I think they'd be very concerned. If someone is trying to get it out and prunes and dates ain't working, what should they try? Uh, they'd probably try castor oil, something, uh, milk of magnesia, castor oil, something. All right, wicked. Well, Yo, check it out. You has heard the words of my man, Chief Bill Gates. Him has shown that crime ain't something that you should do. It's something that you should don't. <laughs> Is we're going to do today. I'm going to take you around and show you some of the areas where we had a lot of gang violence and uh, some of our more urban areas here in, in the uh, Washington, D.C. area. Is signs an important thing in gangs? Absolutely. Hand signs are a way for gang members to communicate with each other. What does stacking mean? Stacking means gang members using hand signals to identify themselves and to talk to each other and to identify to other gangs what crew or what gang they're with. I think I might have seen someone doing that. 
because at my hotel there was this like middle-aged man and a middle-aged woman mm -hmm. and they was obviously gang members because they was throwing up gang signs to each other well, for about an hour are you sure they're not deaf and they're just talking to each other what you know what i'm saying maybe they could they're hearing impaired and they couldn't they were just hand signing like well, deaf, they, they was doing deaf. all like you know mm -hmm. all that i didn't know all the right. gang sign, but literally not a word for like an hour well it's possible that they were just deaf so is there a massive deaf gang uh no no, not that I know of. Is it dangerous for people to do shadow puppets in the ghetto? Well, you do the wrong thing anywhere. You make the wrong sign or something like that, and somebody perceives it as something bad, they're going to take action. For real? Yeah. Because in the UK, you only do like that one and whatever, right. the, the crocodile, whatever. But could right. that lead to getting shot? Uh, it could, depending upon where you are and what neighborhood. Sure. Can you do the one that looks like a girl's? Which one's that? You know, if you put your hands like that, yeah. To put your hands like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one. Then, like, look in there. Have yeah, a look I've in there. That. Look exactly I've seen like that. it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> look exactly like it. Yeah. That ain't a gang sign, though, is it? No. So, what does ATF stand for? Alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives. And what else does you sell? Uh, we don't sell anything. All right. So we, well, we do what we do here is provide a product for police officers worldwide, uh, the explosive detection capability with the dogs. How many people works in the different branches? Right here at the center here, we have 23 people assigned here to take care of the uh, canine training. Why does you use canines? Wouldn't it be more better to use dogs? Right. Well, dogs just a slang term for the canine. But you use mainly dogs, or does you use mainly canines? In the United States canine and dog, it's kind of an interchangeable word. All right, for real. Okay. Most of the dogs we get are black in color. We do get some yellows, and rarely we get some chocolate-colored ones, too. Ain't that a bit racialist, getting mainly black dogs to do this? Oh, not at all. That's just a part of the Labrador Retriever uh, breeding. Um, all right. The black dogs are predominant. But ain't it a bit racialist saying, all right, this is dangerous work, let's get the brothers in to Go oh, and find the bombs. That has nothing to do with that. Why does you choose dogs to decide where bombs is? Why don't you choose a more intelligent animal like a dolphin? And again, that'd be quite difficult to have a, uh, a fish tank on a cart. But I don't know if you know this, but dolphins ain't fish. Right. They is they is like us. They has memories. Correct. But they have to get back to a water source every now and again, and there's that's what they say the the extent of work you'd have to go into versus a dog. Um, and then again, I don't know how good their sense of smell is compared to a dog. Right. Dogs are proven they've been used for a lot of years because of their phenomenal sense of smell. So why does they stick their noses so close to each other's body? Again, dogs, they give out um, different uh, scents. They let the other dogs know what's going on. That's why they're constantly smelling each other. Of course, I once smelled a dog's ass and it was horrible. Why does they do it? Different perception, though. Um, something that's unpleasant to you is and unpleasant to them. Has you ever smelt a dog's ass? Can't say I have. Stay. This is Dabby. What? This is Dabby. And this is John. Hello. John. Dabby? Uh, dog's dog's name. Oh, all right, safe. When they actually find a bomb, how long does it take the dog to defuse it? The dog has nothing to do with that. The only thing that we use the dogs for, uh, what we train the dogs for, is to locate what we call a suspicious item. For real. Where does you get the dogs from? Uh, we get the dogs from different guide dog agencies. All right. So does you interview the dogs, or does you get like one of the senior dogs to do it? Um, the different trainers, actually, will go up and will evaluate the dogs. Why don't you use one of the dogs who's been here for like years to interview them? Because they will know whether it is good or bad. Right, right. Well, we, we like to send, our dogs are busy. They're out looking for explosives, so they don't have the time to, to go up there and interview the other dogs. So we do it ourselves. So can these dogs smell drugs? No. Thank God. Not at all. Yo, respect. You're safe. What? Why? How does he know? <laughs> you said thank God. Well, I say that out loud. Yeah. I, I don't have anything on me. You're all set.
so jetzt bin ich hier mit der Pasta Queen. So I'm here with Pasta Queen. Hi, so tell me, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Yes, I'm a pastor, a pastor of a local church here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I also am married. My wife's name is Beth. And we have eight children. Wow. Great. And tell me about the stuff that you're doing saving gay people. Well, we have opportunity. In fact, right now, I am teaching through the, the book of Romans. And that's in the New Testament. And in the book Great. of... Great. I love Romans. Yes. And in the book of Romans, in chapter one, there's actually a mention of homosexuality. So why is being gay so out this season? Well, I think because there are people who find homosexuality to be repugnant to them. I think I may be becoming a little bit gay because I had sex with this Brazilian guy, like really, really cute. And like immediately after that I was spritzen, I was immediately upstehen immediately afterwards and ready to go again. What do you think that means? Well, I think if in fact you did have a sexual relationship with another man of the same sex as yourself, yeah. then that's a homosexual act. And it right. could be just one act or it could be a whole no. series of, of acts. No, many. And, and that means that you are involved in homosexuality. I'm curious about becoming straight, but I've got a few questions first. So will I still be able to hug men? Of course. It's a hug of affection because we're brothers and sisters in Christ with no sexual connotation whatsoever. So hypothetically, according to you, I can admire a man's penis in the shower, but the moment I put it in my mouth, some sort of line has been crossed. Well, that, again, that's, that's putting sexual connotations that is forbidden by God's word. After I'm converted, could I choose to spend my life with a chick with a dick? Uh, you're talking about someone who's had some kind of operation? Yeah, he's almost always the way there, but he's just got a little something to remind me of the good old days. Well, I would say again, the issue is if a person has come out of a lifestyle in which they've had physical changes through an operation, again, you have to know what their heart is. Let's talk about you for a moment. So how many years have you been straight? I've been straight all my life. What? I've never had a homosexual relationship. So what, you've never had a walk on the brown side? Never. So if I were to give you a lap dance right here and now, you're telling me you wouldn't be turned on? Absolutely not, because it's forbidden by the word of God. OK, can I try it? No. Are you scared that you'll be turned on? No, I I'm a Christian minister, and it's absolutely inappropriate. So. If Freddie Prince Jr. crawled in here now on all fours, are you telling me you wouldn't want to undress him? The book of Job says in a verse that Job would not put any worthless thing before his eyes and that he would not look upon a virgin. Sure. So let's go through some things that will be okay and not okay. If they're okay, just say, ach ja. If they're not okay, say, that's a nish nisht. So, Showering with a friend, ach ja, or a nisht nisht? Absolutely not. It's forbidden by God's word. Which one is it, nisht nisht or ach ja? Nisht nisht. So, watching Will and Grace? It's ungodly, nisht nisht. Being fabulous. What does that mean? You know, just being fabulous. That's, that's nisht nisht because 1 Corinthians 6 says that's an effeminate lifestyle. That's forbidden by God's word. Eating brunch. If you're eating brunch with Christian friends and there's no one else around that's going to seduce you into sin, it's OK. It's a, it's a, ach ja. Ach ja. Eating very, very chocolatey stuff all the time. If, in fact, you are doing it because that's a part of a homosexual lifestyle, nish nish. If you're eating a chocolate dessert after a meal and you're doing it with the fellowship of Christian friends, Akna.
You look like a premier Brazilian, Brezhnev, but a more good. <laughs> You're more good, right? Yes. Yeah. I hope so. Very uh, good man, not just in a head. Right. Head, nothing. Yeah. Hard. The heart is the important thing. Yeah. Hard, everything. My name is Sam Donaldson, and I got a message for you. News ain't just for the white man, it's for the bros and sisters, too. Respect. Mad props to the hoodio. Mad props to the hoodio. What in God's Respect. name is this? Safe. <laughs> <laughs>